Hi, I'm Sam Hurd. Welcome to this video. Sam always takes us to the nicest locations for uh, engagement sessions. Some of that saucy eye contact going, I think I need deodorant. Look at that, oh yes. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing with Insight a bit on and off, uh, but also just photographing them like I normally would. Got my little prism and whatever else we can come up with. In general, my approach when I'm using Insight is to get to wherever we're gonna use as a backdrop, immediately send a few photos off, do what I would normally do for like five or 10 minutes of a pose or two or whatever. And then once I'm kind of starting to run out of ideas at that particular scene, then I'll check Insight. This takes about a minute to get the results back. Um, and then it's just kind of rinse and repeat. This is the Nikon ZF 3D printed custom grip. Leica Sumalux, they, they don't make it anymore, sadly. It's a 24, 1.4. It's like a $7,000 lens, by the way. Mine is kind of dirty. I really Red need flags. to get it clean. <laughs> <laughs> then, I've got, then I've got the Advantage 1970s-ish Nikon 58, 1.2. This is also manual focus only, but you can get an F to M mount adapter that mounts to this autofocus enabling adapter. So stacking all those together, I have a 5812 with autofocus and a 2414. The only catch with that is you need to be manually focused to infinity in order for it to actually get to infinity. You know, it's fast enough. It's faster than most DSLRs ever autofocused. The only thing to be aware of is because it physically has this motor, if, you're, if you hold your lenses like this, it can pinch your fingers because it'll like, Move, yeah. yeah. Like when you turn it off, it closes, yeah, yeah, and I've had yeah, my yeah, finger yeah. there more than once. Where I'm like, ah, <laughs> yeah. The uh, grip for this, 3D printed from an Etsy shop. Giant, huge, chunky, awesome grip. It's all oh, you ever nice. need. Yep. This is essentially worst case scenario with all the canned recessed lights. This is awesome. All right, you two. Of course, I find the one spot where there's an extension cable, but it's fine. Is there enough room to step into that? I can't tell where the window starts. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> My, yeah, I was gonna say, my, my feelings are never ever hurt. So if I ask you to do something where you're like, um, no, let me know. And just eyes right at each other, nothing crazy. Beautiful guys. <laughs> and then can you actually stand back to back and kind of look out in opposite directions? Cool. Uh, sweep your hair a little bit, Karis, just off to your left side, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, ooh, can you turn a little in my direction? Just a touch, yep, 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 ooh, I love this, that. Begging for some prism. Uh, that's beautiful, guys. Um, just bring your waist a little closer together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Relax. He's doing great, actually. I don't know how he's actually feeling, but it looks like he's totally relaxed. And then I really want to shoot in this direction because the light is so good, but let's get away from this one sign. Maybe just, and I really like the wood. Okay, this is pretty good. Can you guys stand right in front of me, just right here? Okay, yeah, this bag is an in-case DSLR sling that uh, they discontinued, sadly. So I bought the last, like, 20 of them that they made. But it's great. The chunkiness of the strap means I can rubber band stuff, like my Insta360 camera if I want, or anything else that I need to mount here. It's really easy to do. And then a lot of times, if I'm in a hurry, I just leave it open like this and swap lenses that way and shoot just like that. It's really fast and efficient. And almost always, I can leave it unzipped and stuff, stuff won't come tumbling out. So sometimes I'd, you know, again, if I'm in a hurry or something, I'll leave it kind of open like, like that on my back. But anyway, okay, can you guys come a little closer to me? And then, Karis, can you come really close to me? Awesome, there we go. And <laughs> you like got it closer than anybody normally is comfortable. <laughs> and then Ben, can you look like right here at my camera? Yeah. Yep, perfect. Prism action, ooh, ooh. Just bring your heads a little closer together. That's good. Really smell that hair, Ben. Give it a nice dip and perfect. Just a note about using a prism, by the way. A lot of times where it's gonna work well is when stuff surrounding what's directly in front of you is worth reflecting back in. So a lot of times that's a really high contrast thing, like a building against the sky or these vertical lines against the sky. And those are really useful because they create just abstract shapes of things. Uh, sometimes it looks like a building, but a lot of times it just looks like weird, cool, reflecting lines. So you just want to keep that in mind. Is, is the scene, if it's fine by itself and it doesn't need any extra interest, then just leave it. But if there's stuff around you that you think would be cool to reflect back in, you can. And then a lot of times, since we're doing a video, I'm going to be a little more obvious about it. But when I'm looking at the insight results, 
I try not to like call attention to it. Like I don't want the couple to realize that I'm looking at things um, to get new ideas. Uh, just because I don't want them to think about the process of photography much. I like couples to just be photographed and we talk about their wedding day or you know their life or something else. But since this is a video, I'm just gonna peek real fast. Well, it's almost always, uh, oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you can lay down, that was awesome. You, seriously, get, relax, relax. If, if you both wanna lay down, you can like, if. My fingernails are your heads. Just kind of lay down so your heads are sort of side by side. This is actually a wonderful spot to do this type of pose anyway. A lot of times when the light is directly overhead, if you can have your couple lay down, now they're being front lit or side lit relative to the light source instead of sitting under it and getting all the raccoon eyes and whatnot. Cute. <laughs> I don't think we ever have a photo uh, So we've given Ben hair now because Karis' hair is... <laughs> Can you sweep it a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> so. Just give me a mustache. Give me a mustache. That's cute, that guys. The and then can you kind of like connect your hands somehow? It doesn't really matter how. I'm just going to play around with it until... That's so funny. You can even close your eyes if you want for one. I like that. That's good. Stay right there. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Help each other up or just carefully. <laughs> Uh, and then can you kind of meet in the middle there? Maybe Karis, can you wrap around his arm that's closest to you? Yeah, and then hold hands or whatever, just like that. Beautiful, guys. Just eyes at each other, that's great. <laughs> can you guys go um, on the other side of this and kind of right in front of that window and then I'll direct you from there. Ooh, I like it. Uh, ben, just small side step that way. Yep, yep, that's good. Good, good, good. Hold that. And then, Ben, uh, can you step into the light? There we go. And, and just keep your body facing me, but yeah, really just turn and look way over your shoulder. Yep, beautiful. Hold that. I love how often you know you end a wedding day and the couple's like, you were the best, thank you so much. And it's like, you have no idea how good or bad all of these images are. Like really, you don't know. Oh my God. Okay, so sometimes it does get confused and does weird things. It added a third person. Oh, just a head. It's just a floating balloon head. It's confused by the laying down shots, but I actually do really like this bottom right one. That's interesting. Prison ones. I do like the hands in this upper upper right one. Um, a lot of times, if, you know, I will find things that compositionally are really appealing, like a repeating pattern or a cool wallpaper or something like that, but at the end of the day, if the light just isn't usable, uh, or I don't have anything to, I didn't bring a LED light or anything to adjust with, I just try and eject and move on. As cool as that blue is, the light's just not gonna, gonna work, and that's not bright enough, I think, but. I'll help. This is a great pullback, because the photo's gonna be great, and then the scene is just. Bathroom entrance with yeah, water. Pepsi machine. Yeah. What if the photo's not great? Now you've put pressure on me and I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, again, I just want to play a little bit more of the composition. How about, uh, Ben, can you turn and face that way? Just like profile? Yeah. Back up a little toward her, just a touch. And Karis, can you kind of like relax into his back? Keep facing me, just like, yeah, shoulder into the side. You can keep your hands like down or, do you have pockets? A fake out pocket? Yeah, that's kind of cool actually. Eyes maybe at the inspiring water fountains. This is too easy. <laughs> Slay ups. <laughs> the escalator down real quick, see what's downstairs, and then that should be good. We are gonna move, uh, going to avoid the frigid, cold outside air. Just eyes at each other. Perfect. Might work, but um, can you just turn and face that light? Yeah, that's neat. Okay. Can you just stand behind her and both face that way? Uh, let's see, Ben, small sidestep. <laughs> Not too close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cute. Sweep your hair a little bit, Karis. Oh my god. The AI predicted. The AI predicted. That's so funny. Uh, hey, what's up? Good to see you. It's all good. Okay, uh, yep, Ben, if you can kind of lean over her shoulder a little bit, you guys can actually touch, yeah, yeah. I'm not showing most of your bodies. Perfect, perfect. Karis, turn your head a little in my direction, just a little, there we go, yep, yep, yep. 
<laughs> gotcha, guys. Good. All right, let's check out these cool steps. So what's really funny about that is one of the insight ideas when you were laying down added another head, another oh, person's really? head. head. Only a head. Though. It was like a balloon head. <laughs> so it's just Save it? yeah, it's here. Oh my gosh! So it's oh just my really, God, who's that? that <laughs> I don't know, but it's just really funny that uh, Listen, we go. got a photo with a third, <laughs> a third head Vanessa. from Vanessa floating behind you. It, it's predicting the future. <laughs> So it did something weird with the hands. I think I'm gonna, okay, this is, I don't know why, but I think I do wanna play with hand and foreground. I don't know what's happening here, but it's interesting. Ooh, I really like this positioning, this pose. It turned him into an Irish yeah. man. Lower sky. And then, let's see. Just lean in a little closer to each other. Yep. Okay, I like this, this is fun, this shape. Yeah, Ben, can you get a little closer to her? Ooh, I love this, hold that. And then can you just look in each other's direction a little bit? Yep, that's good, that's good, perfect. Karis, can you come really close to me? And just kind of have your hand up, maybe out in front of you or something, yeah, that way. Uh, come a little closer, yeah, that's perfect. And then just eyes at the, the lens. Stay where you're at, but turn and look way over that direction. Yep, do something I rarely do and actually stop down my aperture. Perfect, 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 hold that. Oh, that's so cool, because you're like splitting the scene. And then Karis, uh, exactly, yep, 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 just eyes that way, yep. So it's F to M, uh -huh. and then this is an M to Z autofocus adapter. So I can mount my Leica lenses to this directly, or any old F mount Nikon lens. Uh, Karis, can you um, turn and face me this way, and kind of look out that, yep. Then uh, just hand in your pocket. Perfect, guys, stay right like that. Holy crap. Wow, okay, uh, whoa. Uh, ben, can you hold her arm with your left hand? Yeah, cute. And then just eyes at each other. You can kind of nuzzle noses or something. Got it, guys, good. That was, that was an explosive one to end on. Okay, no, we're good. You guys are awesome. That was it? That's it, yeah, we're good. Where yeah. do people go to find out more about you? Oh yeah, just Instagram, I am the Sam, or my Patreon, patreon.com slash Sam Hurd, or my website, samherdphotography.com. On my Facebook, facebook.com slash photography or my YouTube, youtube.com slash photo. Thanks. Me, you can find me at um, <laughs> heycares at uh, Instagram and um, heycares.com. And you can find me at Ben Lau Photo on Instagram and benlau.com on the internet. You can listen to your <laughs> podcast. There's a link oh, in the yeah, description. Podcast. Oh, yeah, yes. So we host a, a, a wedding photography podcast with another husband and wife. Duo, and uh, it's called Focused AF. You can find us on Instagram at focused.af. Mm -hmm.